First things first, I want to preface this video by stating that I merely wish to illustrate the way this story unfolded while also showing how the roaring and outpouring support for Sketch superseded any shame or animosity that could be thrown his way. I believe with the support garnered online and in person, he will come out of this stronger and more free than ever. Sketch, also known as the Sketch Reel, has become a viral sensation over the past year as a live streamer. He began by doing gaming content, mainly playing Madden NFL 24, and has since branched out to also doing in real life live streams. The sketch reel has become a staple in the sports world, even reaching the pinnacle of sports TV by having an analyst on SportsCenter do his best impression of him. This is SportsCenter. What's up brothers? Special teams, special plays, special players, Christine Alexander, Randy Scott alongside. He has been collaborating with some of the biggest creators as well, from the likes of world-renowned comedian Theo Vaughn, NFL quarterback CJ Stroud, and music artist Jack Harlow, and countless others that elevated Sketch to a mainstream level. Sketch was going viral constantly and in part due to his iconic line, What's up brother? Which he also got to say while announcing a draft pick for the Houston Texans at the NFL Draft in April of 2024. Yeah. What's up, brothers? How we doing? Make some noise! Come on! This is football! Come on! The Philadelphia Eagles have traded the 123rd pick to the Houston Texans! With the 123rd pick of the NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Cade Stover, tight end, Ohio State! <laughs> Seamlessly reaching new heights for streamers and content creators of any kind in a matter of months. The sudden rise to fame comes with perks, but with downsides as well, such as the intrusion of privacy and of one's personal life. This meteoric ascension to stardom would inevitably cause this same effect for Sketch, because one day on stream, he was meeting somebody new and he accidentally introduced himself as Kylie. I started to catch a little stride there. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Caleb, uh, Kylie, or Sketch. Sketch. I guess everyone knows now. <laughs> There's not, not much to find out, but it's, uh, that's my real name. Well, I guess I will, <laughs> will shock the world. <laughs> Fuck. It's, it's okay. Awesome. All right, brother. He followed this blunder by saying, I guess everyone knows now, but there is not much to find out. This implies that the mishap would lead to minimal information learned from his real name being known, and while this is true to an extent, the leak happened in late April, and only a few months later would this story of addiction, OnlyFans, and pornographic content surface. This is the telling of how Sketch went from OnlyFans to NFL Draft. Sketch's real name is Kylie Cox, and he attended Mississippi State University while also being inducted into the fraternity Kappa Sigma. A photo surfaced showing Kylie Cox as a member of the fraternity, and fans quickly pieced together the similarities in the resemblance to Sketch. The name reveal wasn't what uncovered the mature content he made in the past, because it was actually a reply to a comment left on an Instagram post of Sketch featured on a podcast show. The user Red Warfus is seen replying to Thomas Mayer 13, who originally said, Love to see two boys from Houston blowing up together and putting each other on. Double hearts keep going. Red Warfus says to quote unquote Google at Jamie Marr HTXXX and at Jamie Marr NSFW to see Sketch in his true form. Just a warning, it's erotic and graphic. The OnlyFans username Jamie Marr HTXXX led to a page where pornographic content was made with additional social media links for Twitter and Instagram. Besides the OnlyFans page containing erotic content, anything regarding Jamie Marr was wiped off of the internet besides a few instances. One instance is a batch of Reddit posts that were found from the same username looking for potential link-ups in Houston, Texas during 2021. In addition, the username Jamie Marr HTXXX, when broken down, leaves a name Jamie Marr, followed by H, which would stand for Houston, and TXXX, which means Texas. 
This led to further speculation that this person was based from Houston, Texas, the same place Sketch resides. Another instance is a now deleted post by a user named Big DJ who shared an X-rated video of porn content with another man, that being one Jamie Marr. The noticed similarities in between Jamie Marr and Sketch are as simple as the identical pairs of glasses worn in photos, the resembling facial structure and features, to as intricate as the matching forehead mark and the same hairline growth pattern. This hairline growth pattern goes to show that nothing can ever go unnoticed on the internet because there will always be the attention to detail people that will scope things out that normally would go under the radar. Because tell me, in this second picture where his hair is so short, you can barely see that little overgrowth mark, but everybody correlated it perfectly. And as we now know, these claims being true, were just speculation for a while, but Sketch has now come forward and he has confirmed that Jamie Marr HTXXX was created by him. In a short live stream he did on July 8th, Sketch addressed the claims with ownership and humor. Look at this, open and honest, that was me. That was me, it's okay though. I will tell you what, okay. Two years ago I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. So two years ago, I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did, possibly. <sighs> Catch out of the bag. Whenever it was that he decided he wanted to move past that stage in his life and scrub Jamie Marr off of the internet to ideally never be found was when he had to take that secret with him everywhere he goes. And he even says in his response that he lived under threat every day of this coming now. But on a real note, I've been living under the threat of that coming out for like two years. Started social media, just kind of dicking around. Had that in my past. I'll tell you what, weight lifted off my shoulders. God is good. God is good. All the time. But... Weight off my shoulders, to be honest. You have some stuff in the closet, not, no pun intended there. He also states that in the back of his mind, while doing all these big collabs with celebrities and global brands, he would be thinking, holy shit, if this ever came out, I would be forced to quit and even contemplate life itself. I mean, I tell you what, I was going and doing all this different stuff, I was going, in the back of my mind, holy shit. And guess what? Holy shit was l last night. And I did call it quits if this ever came out. If I was alone and I was at my house, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now. But what saved him was speaking with his FaZe Clan friends that took him in with open arms in his time of need to show him that no matter what his past entails, it does not define who he is standing in front of them today. The people at FaZe, banks especially, um, and my friends that I've made over the past couple years came in and they saved me. I don't know what I was going to do, but... The person who helped sketch the most during this whole endeavor was none other than FaZe Banks. FaZe Banks posted a tweet stating, Not everything needs to be broadcast and farmed, but since y'all want to jump to crazy assumptions, Sketch told me to post these receipts. All the FaZe boys were with him last night. Sketch was my homie yesterday, he's my homie today, and he'll be my homie tomorrow. You guys are effing weirdos. And he also posted a, a text receipt here with Sketch. FaZe Banks says, You awake. Sketch says, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to involve y'all. Bro, what do you mean? You're our boy. You didn't have to dip. You didn't involve us in anything, bro. You good? I'm over by airport. I didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Come back. You're good, dude. The boys pulled up on me and woke me up. They wanted to make sure you were good. You're good, bro. Come back. We're all here. You're the homie. I'll come now. I just need to, someone to talk to. We're all posted. Come back. Need me to call you car? On the way. CCTV, Google Nest photo of Sketch coming into the face house. And the iconic shoes with the glasses honestly phase banks was the perfect person to console sketch just because of the fact that he's been in this industry so long i remember watching phase banks 
in the mid 2010s, like 2014, 15, 16 era, him, him and his vlogs, him and his beef with, with Jake Paul overtaking his ex-girlfriend, Alyssa Violet, all of that. That was some of the peak times on YouTube, it felt like, um, in terms of YouTubers dropping music videos, diss tracks, just everything was was at a new height, I felt like. 10 years later, so in 2024, now that we're at, in terms of what streamers are doing, what creators are doing, you got people like Mr. Beast dropping millions of dollars per video. You got people like Sketch doing collaborations and announcing picks for the, the NFL draft. Face Banks really probably dropped some knowledge, told him that no matter what his past is, no matter what he did, that doesn't define who he is today. And Je Sketch was joking about it in his clarification video. He's been compared to Kim Kardashian more now than he's ever been in his life. What did Kim Kardashian do? If I get one more text about Kim Kardashian, I swear that doesn't make anything better. I'm just kidding, but I've been referenced to Kim Kardashian more often today than I have in the past 20 years of my life. Kim was in a similar situation, having her tape leaked, having her pornographic content showed to the world. And Sketch is in, this, in a similar situation right now, but I think there is much to learn from Kim. The fact that she overcame that, kept moving forward, and is now one of the biggest influencer business moguls in the whole world and is a household name for people. This was a key and vital piece of information for Sketch to ponder upon and understand that he can still move, move forward and move past because in his clarification video, he was saying how this really affected him. He thought if this ever came out, he might have to quit and even contemplate his, his own life. The fact that the internet is showing the, the roaring and outpouring support, I think is just a testament to how far everyone has come in terms of LGBTQ matters and compassion. I'm sure if anybody's not so proud moments came out, we would all be in a similar situation as Sketch. Embarrassed, maybe even to a point of wanting to shell up and hide until a certain amount of time passes. Because at the end of the day, time is what will heal. And you won't be able to escape the, the trolling from the kids and the fans but at the end of the day the sooner you can just embrace it you'll be laughing along with them and this will all be a, a faint memory in the past many creators from all different sectors came to aid him with encouraging and supportful words people like valkyrie bradley martin jinxie queso ludwig hasanabi and kaisenat to name a few all had an impact in the overwhelming support for Sketch and goes to show the community can unite together for those who are being persecuted by others for no apparent reason besides being a se different sexual orientation. Because at the end of the day, he himself said in his clarification stream that he doesn't want to be the poster boy and hold himself to such a high standard. Hey! I'd rather you know my flaws though, so it makes it easier. I don't want to be the poster boy. And that's his right to do so. Nobody can ever be perfect. Sketch didn't do anything wrong. What he was doing on his own time and what his sexuality is shouldn't be any stranger on the internet's business. Regardless, I'm sure his stream chat and text-to-speech will be using this situation to poke fun, and that's all I think should come from this situation. I believe Sketch will outlive this and be back better than ever, with a weight lifted off of his shoulders and one less burden on his chest. The moment you let go is when the healing can truly commence. And for Sketch, it was letting go of that secret so that he can continue on peacefully with no skeletons in his closet. A perfect way to end and summarize what should come of this event, for those that are unsure, is the way streamer Queso breaks down his thoughts. Sketch something something. I'm like, oh no, what happened? You know, did he kill somebody? Because that's what they was... That's what they was making it seem like. I was like, yo, did, 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 catch, did Sketch kill somebody? Is there a bottom in, is there a body in his basement? I was like, what happened? And then I looked and saw what happened. And I'm like, 
I don't care. Hey, if, if you want a genuine opinion on the situation, bro, who cares, man? Like, I saw that, and it's like, they was acting like he was d doing something terrible. As far as I know, there was no crime committed, no nothing that happened. And at the end of the day, chat, I'm a big fan of people doing whatever they want to do as long as you're not negatively affecting somebody else. That's my favorite thing in the world is letting people do whatever they want to do as long as you're not negatively affecting somebody else. And as far as I know, he ain't did nothing. So what? At the end of the day, Chad, at the end of the day, he's still the same person he was before all this came out. Straight up. Hey, straight up, bro. He is the same person he was before all this came out. And that person's a good dude. Man. So, hey, chat. There ain't gonna be no different treating over here. I'm gonna still play games with him. Still do everything. Because you know what? Nothing happened, man. You know what I mean? Nothing happened. 